Hello and welcome everybody. This is part three of the analysis services monitoring overview sessions. In the first session we discovered and talked about monitoring tool options and the analysis services engines both tab and multidimensional and how queries are processed. In session two we looked and reviewed on how to use OLAP profiler traces to capture data to evaluate events enabling the ability to monitor server and analysis services database activity. In session three we're going to be looking at monitoring Azure Analysis Services using Azure Log Analytics. Just a quick review of the monitoring tools we've discussed in this series are about seven to eight different options. We specifically talked about SQL Server Profiler, and we will be looking at Azure Metrics Explorer, Azure Diagnostics, and Log Analytics for specifically Azure Analysis Services instances and databases. An important part of any analysis service solution is the monitoring and how your servers are performing. Azure Analysis Services is integrated with Azure Monitor. I've been using Analysis Services for years, both multidimensional, tabular, on-prem, and with a lot of my real-world experience around using the tabular multidimensional, primarily on-premises instances. Now, I like the profiler option because that is what I grew up on, monitoring Analysis Service, tabular, multidimensional, on-premises. I don't know if I mentioned this, but I was part of the Maestro program, which was very much involved with on-prem monitoring and analysis of analysis services multidimensional instances. We saw that in the profiler demo in the last session that we can use profiler against Azure Analysis Services instances and collect trace event data. In using Azure Monitor Logs, it is based on a language called Kusto. And it's based on the Azure Data Log Explorer and log queries are written using the same Kusto query language or KQL. This is a rich language designed to be easy to read and, and author, and you should be able to start using it with minimal guidance. All the data collected in Azure Monitor logs is available to retrieve, analyze, and analyze in the log queries. Different data sources will write their data to different tables, but you can include multiple tables in a single query to analyze data across multiple sources. When you build a query, you start by determining which tables have the data that you're looking for, so you should have at least a basic understanding of how the data in Azure Monitor logs are structured. But now, being in the Azure world, leveraging Azure's own services and products offers a smooth, simple, and elegant way of monitoring and auditing Azure Analysis Services. In this case, we'll be using Azure Log Analytics, sending that to the Azure Model Log Analytics Workspace. And then we're, in this option, we will use an existing workspace or create a new workspace resource in the portal. The reference on the screen, you can go back to that reference and look and discover more information and read for yourself what's available through Log Analytics Workspaces. So with this, we have in the Monitoring Azure Analysis Services kind of a log analytics overview. A schema is a collection of tables grouped by under logical categories. For example, the log management category contains windows and syslog events, performance data, and agent heartbeats. The schema tables appear on the Tables tab of the Log Analytics Workspace. For example, the event table contains text columns like computer and numerical columns like event category. The reference on the screen here is also another location you can go to get more information. In this demo, we're going to be looking at monitoring Azure Analysis Services using Log Analytics. The prereqs are, you got to set up logging, you got to have Log Analytics, and you have to set up a Log Analytics workspace. This assumes you already have Azure, an Azure subscription, and it already assumes that you are running an Azure Analysis Services instance with a solution deployed. We also will look at Azure Analysis Services Log Analytics using various Kusto or KQL queries. Just to briefly demonstrate the resources that I have set up to demo this, is I have Azure Analysis Services, an instance of that, and I also have a Log Analytics Workspace for that. So as we navigate through this, I'm going to go to my Azure Analysis Services instance, and then to look at the diagnostic settings of this, we want to come down to our monitoring area, go to diagnostic settings, and I'm going to click on the analytics workspace, or actually I'm going to edit the setting just to show this. And this is how I set up my workspace. I wanted to make sure that I was logging it to my ADF log analytics workspace here, the, my subscription. I'm not archiving anything to the storage counter event hubs. It's just I'm logging that to a series of logs. So that's an overview of how that is set up. In my log analytics workspace, I want to start showing how I access the logs. So if in my workspace, just under the general area, I click logs. And this is going to bring up a screen. It's going to show example queries. 
All right, I'm going to go ahead and X out of that because I have some queries already pre-saved that I like to run. In this case, I have one that I use for a Power BI inquiry example. And this is a simply saying, hey, give me the last diagnostics in information based on the last four hours. That This is the Custo query or KQL that's being executed here once I hit the run button. And I hit, hit the run button, and I'll show generating some of this data here. So it will actually show anything that may have occurred on this instance. And it may, if it was answering a query, it's going to show the text data, so on and so forth. I'm going to close this blade so you can see that a little bit more. But it's showing what kind of queries are being issued, who's issuing it, effective unit name, what tenant it's coming in on, what server it's hitting, and so on and so forth. Since the logs have all the information we could expect to show up in Profiler, it is very much immediately queryable. The other thing is, is that it is also very easy to export an M query so that you can visualize this data in Power BI. And how we get to that is we hit our export button, and I want to export a Power BI M query. It will actually generate a file where that I can ultimately save this and then copy and paste this in Power BI. To show you what this looks like, I've run, you know, here's, here's some of the information I've been using to bounce up against my Azure Analysis Services, which is issuing writes to the log. And with this Power BI solution here, this is basically doing the analysis over four, the four hours. And to understand what that looks like here is if I go to my transform data and I look at my mQuery property editor, the advanced editor, you'll see that this Power mQuery is what I copy pasted from that file. and allow me to do that and say done. And I, then I can do a close and a reply. And if I choose to, I can do a refresh, and then this data will start issuing and running a refresh based on that query against the log analytics space, workspace that I have. And now I know that this is not overly exciting, but I can actually drill into this data either based on certain values here, these queries that we issued, and this is what this is representing here. I can actually come out of that and look at other options. We can continue to drill down into my Power BI over months or days as I continue to drill into that and I'm on day 22 so that's how we investigated this query very quickly in this demo about Power BI and using Azure log analytics to analyze our Azure analysis services workspace database performance and server performance thank you for attending this session on analysis services monitoring hope that you took a few of these techniques and hopefully you can apply them to your situation. If you have any questions or want to interact with us, please reach out to us on social media. Thank you for attending and have a great day.